In this video, we will solve this problem right here using the Rayleigh's method. And so it says that drag force is a function of velocity, density, viscosity, and diameter for a fluid flow. We want to use dimensional analysis to determine an expression relating these variables using the Rayleigh's method. And so the first step that we will do is write out the dimensions for each variable. So we have drag force. Drag force is FD and the dimensions is equal to, for drag force, it's mass times length over time squared, which is equal to mass times length times times raised to negative two. So next we'll do velocity. Uh, velocity, the dimensions are length over time. So we could say length times times raised to negative one Next, we have density. The dimensions are uh, mass over length cubed. And so we could say mass times length over negative three. Uh, now we have viscosity. Viscosity, the dimensions are uh, mass times length raised to negative one times times raised to negative one. And finally, diameter, which is simply length. So now that we have the dimensions, we need to go back to our problem statement. It says that drag force is a function of, meaning it's gonna be this. Drag force is a function of, so is equal to F, F for function, parentheses, what's in the inside is a function of velocity, density, viscosity, and diameter. So that's gonna be V comma density comma uh, viscosity comma diameter. We're using the Rayleigh's method. So once we have it in this form, what we need to do is say that FD is equal to K, K for constant, times V uh, raised to arbitrary constant A, times density raised to B, times viscosity raised to C, times D raised to D. And now that we have it in this form, what we need to do next is replace these variables with the dimensions. So FD, for example, was this. So replace FD with mass times length times times raised to negative two. So what would be, it would be mass times length times times raised to negative two is equal to our K, K for constant, times V, V was length times times raised to negative one raised to a times uh we have density and density was mass times length raised to negative three and this is going to be raised to b times uh viscosity which is mass times length raised to negative one times times raised to negative one and this is raised to c and finally D, which is length, so L raised to D. Now once we have it in this form here, what we need to do is group all the M's, all the L's, and all the T's. So we have M, L, and T. So in our equation right here, this term right here is raised to one. This is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D. FD is raised to one, because it's a function of. And so now we look at all of the M's. This is one M. This is 1m, and this is 1m. And so we say that this m is raised to 1, so we simply write 1 is equal to, this is raised to b, so is equal to b. This is raised to c, so plus c. Next we do l. l is raised to 1, so 1. Here it's raised to a, so we simply write a. Here it's raised to b, but we have a th negative 3 in the front, and so we say negative 3b. Uh, here it's raised to negative one, so we say negative C, and here is raised to D, so we say plus D. And finally we do T. T is raised to negative two, which is raised to one, so we say negative two is equal to, uh, this is negative one times A, so negative A, and this is negative one raised to C, so we say negative C. And what, what you can notice here is that we have four unknowns. A, B, C, and D, and but we have three equations. So we have three equations, 
and four unknowns. And in order for us to solve this, what we can do is solve in terms of one variable. And so as an example, I have one is equal to b plus c. I could say that b is equal to one minus c. That's one variable. Likewise, I had to do the same for this equation and this equation. So I have negative two is equal to negative a minus c. I want my a value to be in terms of c because I have three equations and four unknowns, and the only way we can solve is by solving in terms of one variable. And so this equation right here, we will rearrange. So we would get a is equal to two minus c. What I did here is I moved this negative a over to this side, so minus a, I bring it to this side, and I bring this negative two back here. And so originally, this equation right here was the first equation, this one right here, and this equation was the third equation. The second equation has more components. We have A, B, C, and D, but we still want to solve um, in terms of C like this. And so we will solve for D because we know A, we know B, and our variable is going to be C here. So what I could do is rearrange this equation right here. If I move all of these terms right here, A, B, C, over to the left, I'll have my answer in terms of D. So what we would get is, we would get D is equal to, so we have a one right here, one minus, minus A. Now A, we know what it is, it's two minus C. So we can say minus parentheses, two minus C. Next we do the negative three B, we move it to the left. So we say plus three B, so plus three parentheses, our B term. B was one minus C, so one minus C, and we also move negative C, so we say plus C. And so this is our D equation, but we can expand it out and we would get one minus two plus C uh, plus three minus three C plus C. So now we just group one minus two plus three would give us 2c minus 3c plus c would give us minus c. And so this equation came from number 2. I simply rearranged number 2. What we need to do next is plug a, b, c, and d back into the original equation of this. We had uh, drag force is a function of k times velocity raised to a times density raised to b times viscosity raised to c times diameter raised to d. We plug it back in here. And so what we would get is uh, drag force FD is equal to K times velocity, and that was raised to A, and A is two minus C, so raised to two minus C times uh, density, and density was raised to B, and B is one minus C, one minus C times, we had viscosity next, uh, viscosity, and it was raised to C, uh, we leave it in terms of C times D, and D was raised to two minus C. So D for diameter was raised to two minus C. And next we will expand out. So we get K times uh, V, this velocity, raised to two times uh, K raised to negative uh, C times uh, density, and that was raised to one times uh, density raised to negative C times uh, viscosity raised to C times uh, diameter raised to two times diameter raised to negative C. I'm simply just expanding this out. And once we expanded it out, we will leave our constants on one side and our C's on the other side. Meaning, so this is an FD, right? So we say FD divided by what am I going to divide by? This is a V squared. This is density raised to one, and this is D squared. So if I want to bring it to the other side, I can divide by V squared. I can divide by density, and I can divide by D squared. And so I would get V squared times density times D squared. So this would eliminate this term. It would eliminate uh, this term, and it would eliminate this term. So now we have on the right hand side are k constant and raised to c stuff. 
So we can say that k uh, times our c term, so raised to c. And so in our case, v raised to negative c would go into the denominator. Uh, we have density raised to negative c would go in the denominator. We have viscosity raised to positive c, so it would go in the numerator. Finally, we have d raised to negative c, so it would go into the denominator. And so this right here would be the final answer when we solve using the Rayleigh's method. Uh, however, it's important to check to see if our terms are dimensionless. And I'll show you what I mean. So if we remember from earlier, we know that FD is equal to mass times length times T raised to negative two. We know uh, velocity is length divided by time and we're squaring it. So we would get length squared times times raised to negative two. This right here is the velocity term times density. Density was mass times length over negative three. This is density. Finally, d, d, was l d is length, so length squared. And now we need to group everything up. So m's cancel. We have a length squared and a length raised to negative three and another length squared. So two plus two is four. Four minus three is uh, positive one. So we have an l raised to one in the denominator. And here we have an L raised to one, so it cancels. And T raised to negative two, T raised to negative two. So this is good. We want it to be one, because it needs to be dimensionless. If it's not dimensionless, we probably made a mistake early on. Next, we need to check this term right here. We do the exact same thing. So the, the dimensions for viscosity was mass times length raised to negative one times times raised to negative one. Next, we do velocity. Velocity was length times times raised to negative one. Density is next. So mass times length raised to negative three times D for length. And now let's check our uh, dimensions. So mass cancels, uh, times cancel. We have a length, a length, length raised to negative three. So one plus one is two. Two minus three is negative one. So this is negative one. Uh, length raised to negative one divided by length raised to negative one cancels and we simply get one so it's dimensionless and that's how we can check and so that's all we need to do to solve this problem using the Rayleigh's method